Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, is a complex respiratory condition characterized by progressive airflow limitation. This chronic inflammatory lung disease primarily results from prolonged exposure to noxious particles or gases, with cigarette smoke being the most common culprit. The pathophysiology of COPD involves a combination of airway inflammation, narrowing, and parenchymal destruction, leading to its hallmark symptoms of exertional dyspnea and chronic cough. These symptoms significantly impact patients' quality of life and require ongoing management. Types of COPD COPD encompasses two main subtypes, emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Emphysema is an anatomical diagnosis based on the destruction of alveolar walls, leading to reduced gas exchange and air trapping. Chronic bronchitis, on the other hand, is a clinical diagnosis defined by the presence of a productive cough for at least three months in two consecutive years. While these conditions often coexist, understanding their distinct features is crucial for tailoring treatment approaches. Symptom onset and signs. The insidious nature of COPD means that symptoms typically become noticeable only when significant lung function has already been lost. Specifically, symptoms often develop when the forced expiratory volume in one second, F, EV1, drops below 50% of the predicted value. Common signs include tachypnea and pulses paradoxus, reflecting the increased work of breathing and altered intrathoracic pressures. During acute exacerbations, patients experience a marked increase in dyspnea, often described as a sensation of suffocation or chest tightness. Goal Guidelines and Classification The Global Initiative for Chronic Obstructive Lung Disease, GOLD, provides internationally recognized guidelines for the diagnosis and management of COPD. These guidelines include a classification system based on the severity of airflow limitation as measured by spirometry. The GOLD stages range from 1 mild to 4 very severe, with corresponding F, EV1 values. This classification system aids clinicians in assessing disease severity, guiding treatment decisions, and monitoring disease progression over time. COPD exacerbations Acute exacerbations of COPD represent periods of intensified symptoms requiring additional therapy. These episodes are often triggered by viral or bacterial respiratory infections, or exposure to irritants. Exacerbations are primarily diagnosed through careful history taking and physical examination, with particular attention to changes in dyspnea, cough frequency, and sputum production. These events significantly impact patients' quality of life and can accelerate the decline in lung function if not managed promptly and effectively. Diagnosing COPD exacerbations. Accurate diagnosis of COPD exacerbations requires a comprehensive approach. Clinicians should consider the patient's history of COPD and risk factors, particularly smoking history. The absence of increased dyspnea should raise suspicion for alternative diagnoses. Chest x-rays play a crucial role in ruling out other pathologies such as pneumothorax or pneumonia. Additionally, arterial blood gas analysis is valuable in assessing the severity of the exacerbation particularly in terms of gas exchange abnormalities and acid-base status. Managing COPD exacerbations The management of COPD exacerbations centers around three core treatments. First, bronchodilators, including short-acting beta agonists and short-acting anticholinergics, provide rapid relief of bronchospasm. Second, corticosteroids are employed to reduce airway inflammation and improve lung function. Finally, antibiotics are often warranted due to the frequent involvement of bacterial infections and exacerbations. This triad forms the cornerstone of acute management, aimed at alleviating symptoms and preventing further deterioration. Bronchodilators in detail. In the acute setting of COPD exacerbations, the combination of inhaled albuterol and ipratropium is particularly effective. 
This dual approach provides rapid bronchodilation through complementary mechanisms of action. For long-term management, clinicians should consider transitioning patients to long-acting bronchodilators, which offer sustained symptom relief and improve lung function over time. Corticosteroids Corticosteroids play a vital role in both acute and chronic management of COPD. During exacerbations, a short course of oral corticosteroids, such as prednisone 60 mg daily, can significantly improve pulmonary function and reduce the risk of relapse. In the long-term management of COPD, inhaled corticosteroids are indicated for patients with a documented spirometric response or those with F. EV1 below 50% predicted who experience recurrent exacerbations. This approach balances the anti-inflammatory benefits against potential systemic side effects. Antibiotics The use of antibiotics in COPD exacerbations remains a topic of ongoing debate. They are generally recommended for patients presenting with fever or significant changes in sputum characteristics suggesting a bacterial infection. However, clinicians must carefully weigh the potential benefits against the risks of antibiotic resistance and adverse effects. The choice of antibiotics should be guided by local resistance patterns and individual patient factors. Oxygen therapy. Oxygen therapy is a critical component in managing hypoxemia during COPD exacerbations. The goal is to maintain oxygen saturation between 88 to 92 percent, striking a balance between adequate oxygenation and the risk of carbon dioxide retention in some COPD patients. Careful titration and monitoring are essential to achieve this target while avoiding the potential complications of excessive oxygen administration. Non-invasive ventilation Non-invasive positive pressure ventilation has revolutionized the management of severe COPD exacerbations. By providing respiratory support without the need for intubation, non-invasive positive pressure ventilation can prevent the complications associated with invasive mechanical ventilation. It's particularly beneficial in patients with acute hypercapnic respiratory failure, reducing both the need for intubation and overall mortality. Hospital admission criteria. The decision to admit a patient with a COPD exacerbation should be based on several factors. These include failure to respond to initial outpatient treatment, severity of symptoms, presence of significant comorbidities, and lack of adequate home support. Hospitalization allows for closer monitoring, more intensive treatment, and comprehensive evaluation of the patient's overall health status and management plan. Treatment for Compensated COPD The management of stable COPD focuses on symptom control and preventing exacerbations. Key components include regular use of bronchodilators, implementation of smoking cessation strategies, pulmonary rehabilitation programs, and supplemental oxygen when indicated. This multifaceted approach aims to improve quality of life, maintain lung function, and reduce the frequency of exacerbations. Smoking cessation. Smoking cessation remains the single most effective intervention in slowing the progression of COPD. It significantly impacts the natural history of the disease, reducing the rate of lung function decline and improving overall prognosis. Healthcare providers should consistently emphasize the importance of quitting smoking and provide support through counseling, pharmacotherapy, and referral to specialized cessation programs. Pulmonary Rehabilitation Pulmonary rehabilitation is a comprehensive intervention that goes beyond traditional medical management. It encompasses exercise training, education, and psychosocial support. This multidisciplinary approach has been shown to improve exercise capacity, reduce dyspnea, and enhance overall quality of life in COPD patients. Pulmonary rehabilitation should be considered an integral part of COPD management particularly for patients with moderate to severe disease. Long-term management. Effective long-term management of COPD requires a proactive, patient-centered approach. 
This includes regular follow-ups to monitor lung function, adjust treatment as needed, and address any emerging issues. Ongoing patient education is crucial, empowering individuals to actively participate in their care. Clinicians should consider initiating or optimizing long-acting bronchodilators for sustained symptom control. Regular pulmonary function testing is essential to track disease progression and guide treatment decisions. Patient education and support. Patient education and support are fundamental to successful COPD management. Healthcare providers should offer reassurance and emotional support, recognizing the psychological impact of living with a chronic respiratory condition. Education should cover various aspects of COPD, including proper inhaler technique, recognition of exacerbation symptoms, and the importance of adherence to treatment plans. Encouraging patients to take an active role in their care can lead to improved outcomes and better quality of life. Key takeaways. Managing COPD requires a comprehensive approach that addresses both acute exacerbations and long-term disease control. Prompt diagnosis and individualized treatment of exacerbations centered around bronchodilators, corticosteroids, and judicious use of antibiotics are crucial. Equally important are long-term strategies including smoking cessation, pulmonary rehabilitation, and ongoing patient education. Regular follow-up and pulmonary function testing form the backbone of monitoring and adjusting management plans over time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.